Thank you. I'm Kelly, Kelly Chewbacca. I'm born and raised in Alaska. The woke leftist tried to cancel me before there was cancel culture. When I was an outspoken conservative at a liberal law school, the leftists posted death threats against me in the student center. But they couldn't cancel me. I won't be bullied, I won't be silenced, and I won't be controlled. But make no mistake, the radical progressives want to wipe out diversity of thought. And a nation divided will not stand. Our founders created a government designed to be of the people, by the people, and for the people. Government is supposed to function like the seven referees of a football field. They regulate the plays, and they call the fouls. But right now, we have 700 referees on the field, and they're fouling us all over the place. When government grows, freedom shrinks. And for me, this has become very personal. My parents moved to Alaska before I was born to pursue an American dream. But life doesn't always go according to plan and they ended up becoming homeless. But my mom, she got a job in the oil industry. And with that oil job, they were proud to fight their way into working class America. Yes, I'm proud of them too. I got to be the first in our family to pursue a college education. And then I dedicated my career to public service, making government work for the people. I'm an anti-swamp bureaucracy whisperer. I've exposed waste, fraud, and abuse, cut costs, and my favorite, held government insiders accountable. I was focused on my job, my church, my amazing husband, and being an Alaskan mom educating five kids during COVID. Yep. Shout out to the parents. And then, Senator Lisa Murkowski. You all could be Alaskan. She cast the tie-breaking vote to confirm the radical environmentalist Deb Holland to be Joe Biden's interior secretary. And with that single vote, Murkowski killed thousands of oil and gas jobs, just like the one my mom had. I felt it like a kick in the gut. I owe everything to Alaska and to all those Alaskans who came around my family to give us those opportunities that we had. But Lisa Murkowski, well, she owes everything to her dad, who appointed her to his vacant Senate seat when he was elected governor. For the Murkowskis, it's a little bit like the British royal family. In the same way that Queen Elizabeth is gonna hand on that crown to a descendant, the Murkowskis have been handing down our Alaska Senate seat like a birthright for 41 years. Mm -hmm. But nepotism breeds a lack of realism. So Murkowski, she doesn't feel it when she votes to confirm Joe Biden's radical nominees like she's done over 90% of the time. She doesn't feel it when she acts as Joe Biden's CEO. Yeah, his chief enabling officer, voting along with Biden's radical agenda and Bernie Sanders a majority of the time, which hurts Alaskans and everyone in this room. She even voted for the Green New Deal, you know, the infrastructure bill. But Murkowski didn't just vote for it, she helped write it. Mm -hmm. It is time to hold these leftist supporting insiders accountable. Yeah. 
And aren't we all excited that come this November, we are going to block Biden's business busting, border bungling, crime cascading, defense decimating, energy annihilating, gun grabbing, gender jumbling, liberty loathing, mandate militating, parrot punishing, police persecuting, socialist supporting, America obliterating agenda. have inherited a great country because of veterans like my dad and others who have paid a significant cost. And they walk in the footsteps of those who signed the Declaration of Independence. And they pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. I believe that to whom much is given, much is expected. So I'm not standing on the sidelines while Joe Biden and Lisa Murkowski and their woke leftist friends continue to obliterate the state and the country that I love. Mm -mm. No. I'm all in. Yes. And today, I'm inviting you to be all in with me. Because it is time for Americans with courage and common sense to rise together and lead us forward. I'm Kelly Chewbacca. And I'm for Alaska. Thank you.